Dang, that was a tough day in the crypto market, huh? I mean, shoot. Even 1920s gangsters didn't get that bloody. I mean, look at it. We got basically 10% across the board. What do we see? 3.6 across the market cap. But yet, we're still at $1.7 trillion. Bitcoin is still at, what, $1 trillion market cap. Uh, let's see what we got. All assets. Yeah, Bitcoin sitting exactly $1 trillion. Ethereum bounced down 7 8% to 1766. You know, it seem it always seems way worse. And then, you know, you zoom out and you look at Bitcoin and you're like, "Oh yeah, it's not that bad. Look, we're elevated in the sky. It's like somebody planted magic beans over here and it grew in this huge beanstalk. Same thing here. That's Ethereum. Uh it's just that's how cryptocurrency works so somebody sent me a comment that said hey i fomoed into gas did i just wreck myself and is it going to come back man i don't know i don't have a crystal ball however you know let's look so gas yeah it dropped he probably bought in right over here and then oh shit now i'm done but look the chart is your friend man look at, if you back out or maybe you bought up here and it went down and you can see it coming back you just never know. But uh, I do know that if you sell on the bottom, that you are realizing that loss and you're not getting that money back. The value of it or however you want to look. You see Ethereum doing well. Yield Panda was one. We talked about it. The next day it was in the dumpster, like down 40% or some, And then, it, you know, now it's back up 20%. Same with this, gas. Gas and Neo, I think, will be probably moving along pretty good. Uh, there's two of them here, but. Yeah, I think Neo is going to in for a, a good upward trend. And today, yeah, I didn't dig out a whole bunch of gems. It's hard to find those when the market just goes red like this. You just ride these out. That's what I do. Uh, but I do want to point these out. So it's, this is why I don't margin trade anymore or, you know try to short the market or long the market because you get these weird just enough to liquidate you and then we're back right up here again i mean what the hell is this all about and you see it here you see it on ethereum i that's just a little too shady for me if you know what i mean like what time was that 6 a.m 6 a.m and then let's see what was going on here at 6 a.m. Not much. You see crypto.com though, it's went, what, 58% up today or something? So here's the fireworks. It's starting to do this and it's starting to do that. And I mean, is the ride over? No, I don't think so. Let's go. You know, we're just starting to get into this next. Little up. We're going to have big corrections. That's just how it is. You got to ride these out. Let's see. So XR, man, Ripple going up. Everybody else going down. I wonder if that has something to do with the world versus the United States markets. I don't know. NEM is 30% up when the world is in doom and gloom. Same with crypto.com. Soul, 21% up. Some of these, you know... Going against the trend coins aren't bad to help hedge your losses on days like today. Kusama, killing it. Terra Luna, killing it. On a day like today. Phantom, 37%. Check that out. You know, try and write some of these. You look at Pundi X, 20%, 18%. Swiss Borg, 30%. It's funny how the market works. You know, some things that shouldn't be linked together move together. And causation and correlation, you know, correlation doesn't always mean causation, right? They don't, just because two things are doing the same thing at the same time doesn't mean it's because it's something that's affecting both of them. It could just be a coincidence. Although, that's not always the case in this market. Let's look at KuCoin and see what's going down here. Same thing, man, just bloodbath. DeFi. I mean, it's probably ugly over here. Yeah, same thing. Not as bad. NFTs. The little projects are the ones that usually... Yeah, I see Soul getting crushed. 
mana taking 10%. You usually see mana take a, a big hit right away. People trying to move money back over to, you know, to save their losses. Uh, anyway, let's see who's rising. Crow is though killing it. Yeah, that's the day, man. Ripple and you know, there's no news or nothing really that I know of that makes all these things do this. It just does. Dodo. Man, I like Dodo. Proactive market maker. New cipher. Anyway. Yeah, I thought we'd just look at the market today and uh, take a breather. Don't be too fret, you know. You got to have these corrections before you can go back up. But I, I don't think that, you know, the end is nigh or any of that kind of stuff. And the sky is falling. And, and I've been seeing lots of doom and gloom. But, you know, you just, sometimes you got to ride this out. Anyway, what do you think? Is that it? Was that the bull run? What's the deal with like uh, Binance one day, Crow the next day? What's going to be next? Do you think Neo's going to go next? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, Oracles might have their pump. I, I haven't seen Band really hit its pump yet. When's that going to happen? Uh, Litecoin. I mean, we haven't really seen a whole bunch out of Litecoin either, have we? Nothing too awfully crazy. So usually Litecoin is like the kickoff for the super bullish altcoins. So when we see Litecoin start popping, that's a good sign right there. That means money's probably coming downhill. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on Litecoin one day. Maybe we'll do a video on a whole bunch of stuff. I say that a lot, I seem like. Anyway. All right, then. Cheers, man. I hope you guys aren't, you know, don't FOMO in and foot out. Cheers.